welcome to Sunny Time Dolls YouTube channel. Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope the holidays were kind to you. I hope you spent wonderful moments with your family and friends. And I hope that all your Christmas wishes were fulfilled. This year, I received some really wonderful gifts. I have five new dolls, including a Truly Me number 83, a Truly Me number 85, a Journey Girl Tokyo edition, which is a special holiday doll that I got from Amazon, in addition to the Sugar Plum Fairy doll from the Nutcracker series, as well as an American Girl Create Your Own. I had been wanting to order a Create Your Own doll for the past year, um, but they are pretty pricey at $200. And so um, I had held off on getting one. But fortunately, when I purchased the limited edition Sugar Plum Fairy doll, AG had a special promotion going on. I believe it was like triple points. And so I used the awards points I had for getting the, plum, the Sugar Plum doll, which cost about $250. Um, and I use that to apply it towards my Create Your Own. So when I ordered to Create Your Own, I actually got a pretty good discount. I saved $80 on her. And so I have not opened the box. I've been holding off to wait for her as my Christmas present to myself. And I'm going to be so excited to take a look at my Create Your Own. And so now I think I'm ready to open up this Create Your Own doll and take a look at her. I'm very excited to see what she looks like. Let's take a closer look. She has the Sonali face mold. It's in the light skin. It's not the lightest version, but I have several dolls with the Sonali face mold, but none with this light skin color. So I think it's the second lightest version. I also gave her freckles because I just love a doll with freckles. She has beautiful brown eyes. They're a light brown color, amber, and she's got a red colored wig in the long natural curly version. I have um, a Truly Me 67 at, who has that kind of hair in black and I really love that hair. Okay, time to take off that hair net. Oh, look at that. I got the doll's ears pierced, and so she does have a nice set of earrings that um, that she has with her. And look at that that hair. She has just a huge a huge head of hair, and they are really super bouncy. And um, wow, look at that. This doll is very pretty. I love her hair and I love how she's so unique. Her hair, it is very full. Um, this is a really good wig and it has almost like a um, some like highlights in it. And the hair, it has, the curls have almost like they're kind of a little bit like stiff. So that's a good thing because it means that she, um, that the curls should, they should be pretty stable, like to be held inside her hair, even if you, you know, put a ponytail on it, if you style it, that it looks like the, the wig will hold the curls. And so I am really, really very pleased with this doll. I think she's very unique. She um, has the, I think her hair is the same as the Truly Me 83 that they've released with the blonde hair, but that doll's a Josefina mode. And so um, 
I think this doll, she's going to be one of my favorites because I really like the Sonali face mold and, you know, she's got number 67's hair. The dress is very pretty. It comes with the, the nice uh, purple, plum purple shoes. It has a floral dress. Um, it has a light blue denim jacket. So I am going to take a better look at um, her accessory box um, when in one moment. Before I take a look at her accessories box, I wanted to line up all my American Girl dolls with the Sonali face mold so that I can kind of compare them and see how they stack up. Um, I have over here to the left, uh, Cecile Ray. She was a historical, and to me, she's one of the most beautiful dolls American Girl has released. She has a custom wig um, on. And then I've got my doll, Summer Hawkins, who is a Truly Me number 67. Um, I also have next to her, Melody. And all of these dolls have the Sonali face mold. I believe that they have pretty much, like Cecile and Melody has, I think, the same skin color. And then number 67 has a slightly different skin tone. And so I'm looking at all four of my dolls. They are so beautiful. And as you will see, the um, the Truly Me uh, and the Create Your Own, they both have the same wig, pretty much. It's pretty much, I think, the same length, um, as well as the same curl pattern, except just a different color. Here is an image of those wigs from behind. They both come um, a little bit below the waist level. They, um, like I said, the wigs look pretty much identical. Now, I would not recommend either of these dolls for um, even number 83. I wouldn't recommend any doll like this for um, a, young, a young child. I'm an adult collector, and so I think that it's best to leave a doll like this for a mature child or somebody who has experience with dolls. Now, I have dolls with curly hair and I never use a uh, brush on their hair. If I need to revive the wig or the, revive the curls, I will sometimes spritz it with this brain, braid sheen. This is an excellent spray. It's so I got a leave-in conditioner in it, but it's lightweight. You can also spritz, some, uh, spritz this spray, then use some water and then finger curl the hair hair. That is how I keep the dolls with curly hair looking nice and, um, you know, nice and uh, groomed. I also use this spray for my Courtney Moore doll because when I got Courtney and took her out of the box, her hair already was starting to get frizzy. And so I had to use this spray on her and then finger curl her hair. So I would recommend this doll for um, an experienced doll owner and somebody who, you know, has a love of dolls with this beautiful curly hair. So we're now gonna just take a look at her accessory box. The outfit that I ordered um, with my Create Your Own is called Let's Smile. And I got the Let's Smile accessory kit to go with the doll as well. This accessory set is really nice. It has a beautiful uh, pale pink purse with a chain scrap. And I think this would go really good with um, a Parisian themed outfit, like with the new travel collection that they've released. Um, it also comes with a necklace that has like a butterfly um, pendant on it. The outfit has a headband. It's a purple, plum purple headband. And I ordered the raspberry glasses and it also um, came with this notebook and ink pen. It also comes with this mug of hot cocoa, which is perfect for the cold winter days. I plan to post my unboxing video for Truly Me number 83 and 85 at a later date, as well as an unboxing video for my Journey Girl doll. I'm not quite sure whether I will open my Sugar Plum Fairy Nutcracker doll or just keep her in the box perhaps for now. Um, but I do want to say to everybody that I wish you a happy new year. May you have a wonderful 2021.